Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. My name is Andrea with Foodimentary Adventures in Food. If you are new to our channel, welcome. If you are, are a returning supporter, welcome back. My name is Andrea and in my household, it's me, my husband, and our almost nine month old baby. I typically cook about five meals per week. It's just the two of us eating, so we have leftovers the other two days. So I am kicking off another week of what's for dinner with a simple crock pot meal. In my crock pot, I have four really thick boneless pork chops. And then in my bowl here, I have two cans of cream of mushroom soup and one package of the onion soup mix and then about a half a cup of water. I'm just gonna pour this over my pork chops and let it cook on low for about seven to eight hours. And then I plan on serving this with some rice and green beans. So I will show you what our plates look like when all of this is finished. So here is dinner. It cooked for about eight hours and there is the huge pork chop and we are just having it served over some white jasmine rice. It made a ton of gravy and then I just made some canned green beans and added in some bacon and onion and we are having Sister Schubert's yeast rolls. I have a huge bag of those um, in my freezer from Sam's that I have been trying to get through. I will never ever buy a bag that huge again unless we have company over Thanksgiving or something because it's taken us forever to get through that bag. So anyway, this is what we are having for dinner tonight and we'll see you guys next time. Hey guys, so for dinner tonight, we are having a 16 inch take and bake from Sam's. I've never picked up one before. This was $8.99 for the four meat pizza and you get, um, Pepperoni, which is actually a little spicy, but I like spicy, so it's good. Canadian bacon, um, Italian sausage, and bacon. Howard and I just tried it, and um, he doesn't care for the crust, so it does not at all taste like the deli pizza. Doesn't taste like that at all. He doesn't like the crust. He said it tastes yeasty to him, and the crust is okay to me. I mean, it's nothing special. Would I buy it again? Probably not because Aldi sells the same thing for a lot cheaper, so I'll probably get my pizza from Aldi next time again. So anyway, this is what we are having for dinner tonight, and we'll see you guys next time. Hey guys, so for dinner tonight, I went to my freezer, and in my freezer, I had this skillet meal from Innovation World Walk. It's General Tso's Chicken Stir Fry, and it says, Lightly coated in crispy white meat chicken, tossed in sweet and spicy General So sauce with diced red bell peppers, broccoli florets, and carrots. We are also having these egg rolls. Never had them before. I think they sell these in Sam's, but it's a big box, and I was afraid to try them because just in case we didn't like them. So I saw them at Walmart and I grabbed them. You get eight in a box. And then I am using this fried rice seasoning mix from Kikkoman. And so here is what our plate looks like. And it looks really good. I tasted just a little bit of the chicken and it's a little bit sweet. I'm not a big sweet um, meat type person. I prefer more savory, but it's lightly sweetened. And then here is the fried rice. It does look like it's from the restaurant. I've tried Kikkoman fried rice before and I really like it. They're seasoning, I should say, before. And it's really good, better than all the other brands that I've tried out there. And then here is the egg roll. So this is what we are having for dinner tonight. And we'll see you guys next time. Hey guys, so for dinner tonight, we are having shrimp Alfredo. I had everything on hand. So I used um, almost a half a box of linguine and I had some frozen shrimp in the freezer from Kroger, so I used that. And then I had some heavy whipping cream and some Parmesan. So all I did was cooked the shrimp first until it was almost done. Then I added in this um, pint of heavy whipping cream with the shrimp and I let it warm for about five minutes until the whipping cream thickened just a little bit. Then I added in the linguine and then I added in about three quarters of a cup of Parmesan cheese. 
took it off the heat and then I just stirred it up very well. Um, we are having some garlic toast with it. This is a garlic toast that I talk about all the time. It is from Tom Thumb and it is our favorite garlic toast. I just cooked it in the air fryer. And then Howard had a zucchini that he needed to use. It was in the fridge. So he cooked that up, sauteed it, and it actually looks and smells really good. If I liked zucchini, I would definitely give it a try. Um, but anyway, this is what we are having for dinner tonight, and we'll see you guys next time. Hey guys, so for dinner tonight, we are having Caribbean food. Howard's friend and coworker got us a gift card to DoorDash, and so let me show you what we ordered. Howard got oxtail, um, there is rice and peas underneath that, and cabbage, and I got jerk um, chicken with rice and peas and cabbage. And then we wanted to try their wings, and these are barbecue jerk wings. So this is what we are having for dinner tonight, and we'll see you guys next time.